Hey guys, it's Angel from coffeewithangel.com. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Just wanted to shoot a quick video on target market. Um, I talk to a lot of people about their branding and about defining their target market. And I find that the same thing, I almost have the exact same conversation with everybody that I talk to. And it's always people who are struggling to figure out who their target market, target market is. They feel like they can't define a certain group of people. Um, they don't want to limit themselves by narrowing their niche market and they think they're going to miss out on some people. So we have that conversation. And when it comes down to realizing who their target market is, who they're passionate about, nine times out of ten, um, and I would say even more than that, it comes down to that their target market is themselves. It is people just like them. So if, if you're someone who is doing this home business because you want to get out of your corporate job and you've just had a passion to get out of that and you want to help rescue other people out of that, chances are your target market is going to be other people looking for that exact same thing. Or if you're like me and you're a mom who wanted to be home with your kids and you were willing to work as hard as possible to figure out how to do that and uh, and now all you want to do is help other parents be home, then that's your target market, chances are. Because your target market is going to be drawn to your passion. And generally what you're the most passionate about is what you've been through and the story that you're able to share. And so being able to say, you know, this is what I wanted and this is what had happened and this is what I want to have help people be able to do then chances are you're looking for people just like you. And I did another target market video that I will link above or below this depending on where you're watching this so that it gets more into detail about actually how to figure out exactly who your target market is and then where to find them. But if you're struggling with that, maybe just stop and write down your story Write down what it is that you're passionate about and you'll feel it inside. When you start to think about who you want to help and what you want to help people do and when you start to share your story and realize that when you share that story, you're evoking emotion in people who feel that exact same way. You know, if there's somebody that's a mom that's struggling at work because she can't stand that she's having to drop her kids off at daycare every day, but there's no other solution for her right now, and she hears your story and you're that mom who got out of that and is now helping other moms, then she's going to say, you know, I want to listen to this person. I want to know what she has to say to me or what he has to say to me. And it's the same, you know, down the board for whatever your story is, chances are those are the people that's going to be drawn to you. And it's not narrowing your market too much that there's not going to be enough people, but you were put on this earth for a reason. And part of your reason is to help others to see them, their bigger selves, right? To help them uh, achieve success and to help them have the life that they want and to open their eyes to what's possible for their lives. And the reason you've been given your story to share is because there's going to be people who need to hear your story. And that is your target market. So it kind of makes it easier for people. There's always that aha moment in our conversations when they're like, oh, I didn't even realize, you know, my market is me. And so think about that if you're struggling or if you're trying to define your target market or if maybe you haven't even thought about it and you're like, hey, you know, I have a whole market out there that I could be speaking to, that I could be sharing, you know, even just videos on Facebook, whatever it is that you can do, uh, calling up a friend, doing anything to share your story and to help them out will help to start that momentum where people are going to start chasing you down down to be around you and to get around your energy. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If you want some help uh, defining your brand and really standing out as a rock star in your business, then go to my blog at coffeewithangel.com and on the top left there, you will see the seven powerful steps uh, to just become a rock star. And uh, it will help you with your branding. It'll be things that you haven't heard about branding. So go in and grab that uh, guide there for yourself. And if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to me anytime, angel at coffeewithangel.com or you can comment on this video wherever you're seeing it. And uh, and you'll hear from me. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.